Team Paul Ace Peter here, and this video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I package up my comic books. I do a fair amount of uh, eBay selling and selling on Facebook groups, and the biggest complaint I hear from a lot of people is, you know, the post office mashed up my books and everything came up damaged. And if you package it right, I'm not knocking anyone's packaging, but if you package it right, you shouldn't have anything to worry about whatsoever. So to do that right, you need to prepare. I always have stuff on hand. Up there is my whole uh, packing section. I like keeping stuff just tucked away to the side. But when people buy a book, man, they expect to get it delivered the way you sold it to them. That's just it. And if those people are doing you a favor, if they, you know, a lot of people act like, well, you know, I'll sell you this. It, it goes both ways. They're doing you a favor because they're buying something off you, and uh, you know, you're doing them a favor. And I only fear, I think it's fair that you eat half the cost, but the main thing is that you, you protect the books, make sure they get what they paid for. So let's just go round up some supplies, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got our supplies. Let me just go through the stuff we have here. Okay, first thing you want to do, you always want to have the right size uh, board that you're sandwiching your comics between. What I like to use is double corrugated cardboard. This stuff you can find anywhere. I mean, just go to any store and just ask for boxes. And then you take them home and you cut them off. It costs nothing and it's a little bit of time. That's it. But you cut them the right sh shape and size, measure it out, do some prep work, have a stack of boards ready to go for when you're shipping out stuff. Like I said, I take this and then I draw it out and then I'll go ahead and cut them out. So that's that. Double corrugated, uh, corrugated cardboard. I'll always have my envelopes. Those are for single issues. And it doesn't really matter what kind. These are my double wide. These ones here, I'll set when I send uh, larger lots, you know, four, five, six books at a time. And then anything above that, I'll always use a box. Um, right here, of course, you got to have your comics. I am going to show you how to do a single one and then how I package, you know, multiples. You want to have your ruler or a straight edge of any sort. Ruler's helpful, got a measurement. Painter's tape, I'll use painter's tape and I'll show you what I'll use that for later. Regular scotch tape. This is my tape gun, which is normally filled. It's empty right now, so I had to grab the next best thing. So you want to grab your clear masking tape, a good black marker, a good pen cutting utensil, of course the address. Here I'll also have these. I went ahead and picked these up at the post office and you can do the same. You can ask them for all different kinds of slips that you will need for your packages. A lot you won't need. Some, It's good to have them on hand. I have these here just to show you that when people mail these, they think that comic book boards are going to be good enough. They're not. These do not hold anything. They do not protect anything. And writing fragile on it, it, it doesn't, that doesn't help. I have here, this is a comic mailer. And this just happens to be my template that I use when drawing out each one. And it doesn't have to be exact, you know, but your, your lines should be straight when you cut. But yeah, I'll use that as my template for measuring out stuff. So I have my template, and then I'll have my other corrugate or my cut cut pieces, sorry, because I've already done the prep work. So here's uh, two different kinds. Here's the single, single corrugated, and then the double corrugated. Single is not bad. It's helpful as a backer. Double corrugated is awesome. You always want to include at least one of those in these things here. It's like wood. It's good. And then because I'm me, I always include a couple of free issues of stuff. And here are some hard cases and I'll show you what I do with those later. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is, well, you might as well check your book. Just make sure that it is the copy that they're going to, that you said you're going to send. So you'll, and I know that this is, so you know, check your books before you send them. Make sure, and be honest when you're, you're shipping anything. Okay. So I'm just going to seal that up with a bit of tape. Make sure all 
tears out of it. That's good to go. Okay. So now I'm going to get my boards. And this is presumably that you've already cut up your boards and stuff like that. Like I said, it, it pays to do some extra work. Now I want to show this though, real quick. These are these hard top loaders. I bought these thinking that they would be really good for my books, but I noticed that, listen to this, they, they do that and, and then they scratch up. I can handle the crinkle of mylar, but what I don't like is that, and, and the fronts get scratched and cloudy. Anyway, they're no good to me, so I've got like 50 in there. So what I've been doing with them, I just sold a book, uh, and it, it cost that extra amount to me. It cost like $200 when I sold it. So in that case, I would take that down, flip this up, and tape it like that. Now it's sealed between plastic. And even then, I'll go ahead and use the boards and, and patches the way I'm going to show you now. But that might be a little extra security I use. Always reuse, recycle, all that kind of stuff, just as long as it's not this pizza box. Never use these boards. They don't help. I mean, you can back them as many as you want. Ten, it's still going to bend. It doesn't matter. These are not adequate for shipping stuff. So like I said, we have two different kinds. We have the double thick and we have the single. The single I like to use as additional support. This should be your main package. So we have two basically even cut pieces. And what I like to do is have it about a quarter inch at the tops and bottoms and about a half inch on either side. When I'm working. So what I'm going to do is take this and put it face down here. And that's where I'm going to take my painter's tape. So now we've got a paint tape here, and we're going to, on all sides, just tape it down. The reason why I use painter's tape, it has low, it's low adhesive, it doesn't have this super, super tacky stuff. So people aren't struggling with their books, but it's going to keep it secure. So yeah, you got it here like this, just tape it on down. So even if we just sent it like this. This is super strong. It's not going to bend, but it will bend. If, if, if you think it can bend, it, assume that it will. So this is not strong, secure enough for me, and the top's not covered. Scratch, or all that stuff. So you definitely need two. So because of that, now it's only the single issue, and I'm going to go ahead and put a single piece on. So single and the double corrugated. And that's a nice sturdy package here. Okay. And again, I'll go in with my painter's tape. So now we have our package. That's good to go. That's nice and solid. The seams are tight right there. We're good to go. Now here's where I'll grab my pen. And usually when I'm shipping stuff, I'm doing multiple packages at once. Just, so just to make sure I know what this is, I'll just make little notes as I'm going on the board. It's not going to affect it. Nothing happens. So, little Batman 66. So I know what it is. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the multiple when I sell, send more than one. So I always stagger the spines. So flip it over face to face face to face, okay? I'll grab a little bit of tape and sandwich the first two together. reason why I do that is to cut down on them all shifting and stuff like that. Same thing. Okay, so we have our two separate piles right here. Put them together, we're good to go. We grab our spine, double corrugated cardboard. And we're going to go ahead and take that down again, like so. I 
Again, I use painter's tape because it's sticky enough to keep it steady, but the person removing it will have no problem. Go in again, and this time we are going to I've run out of tape. Make sure you always have extras lying around. If you're going to sell, you're going to sell. Invest in having the supplies around. Make the effort. Get the good stuff. Because the only thing, the worst thing you can do, if you're an eBay seller or anything like that, the worst thing you can do is get a thumbs down or negative feedback because of something as, as stupid as how you shipped it. That was something you could help. That was something you could prevent. Okay. So that's how I do it with the four. Again, nice and solid. Make my note. And then we get ready for the next part. If it's a larger stack, what I'll often use is saran wrap. And I'll just continually wrap the whole package. Now, I had two size different envelopes. These are the double wides, I call them. These are the singles. The singles are great for single books, and you can have as, as much boarding as you want, and you can still get it in there. It's not a problem. If you have more books than that, these aren't going to work. You need the wide ones. The glue is already starting to stick on that, and it doesn't even matter because you've got to tape it down anyway. Put it in nice and tight. Okay. Bring this down as tight as you can. Okay. Nice and tight. That's where you grab your scotch tape and just throw the liquid down here. keeping it tight. That way it just keeps your package tight like this. Now you're going to grab your scotch tape or your uh, masking tape. And I hate using this. I, I just, I don't like it. Anyway, so I may fumble with it. I'll try and fast forward through most of it. So basically we're going to tape down all sides. Anything where it has a seam, anything that where it has a seam, it can be ripped. That's what we're going to do. So for this part here, I'm going to just do it and move fast. Cause I want the no noise. I'm going to cut it out. Okay, here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to tape off all the sides here. Because the worst thing is, is if these get a little bit wet, the whole package is compromised. It doesn't matter. So let's get the edges all sealed up. Plus you got little things like that. We don't want bugs or water or anything getting in. So we're going to do all four sides. Okay, same thing. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so now we have all four sides all taped up. If you get a little bit of hangy pieces like there, you can cut it off. But what I always do is take my little scotch tape and I'll tape those little suckers in. That's what I do next. So the next thing we do, we're going to add the address. One of the things I didn't mention that I usually keep around is I buy labels. They're really helpful for things for labeling off all this stuff. If you don't have those, any bit of paper. That's what I'll use for the address. Uh, here's some index cards. So you can write the address on it and then cut it to the size you need and then we'll take that down. And then you do the same thing for putting the return address up here. But like I said, I'll use the, 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 the actual labels themselves. Now with this package here where it's real light and I'm going to use my black marker, I'm not going to need to worry about uh, putting any labels here, but they're helpful to have and they're handy to have. You never know how you've already packaged your thing. And then here, up here, I will definitely use a label because I already have tape down here and I can't write there. So that's where I'd go ahead and write, fill out the, my address and stuff and plant a little sticker right there.
And once I plant that sticker down, put my address on it, I'll go over it again with some more tape and completely pack it. So this is actually a package I have going out now. So other than adding the address, this is how you should package your books. It works. So this is how I would package my books. Um, after I lay down the labels and everything like that, lay down my labels and proceed to tape it down, then I'll even go ahead and I might go around it once more, around the entire package here with, um, with uh, packing tape, just to make sure that if this rips, this isn't going to come flying off. I like to make sure that everything here is secure, but I always like to leave a spot where somebody can kind of get at the package, you know, with a knife or with, with something straight, get under the tape and be able to rip it apart somewhat easy. Anyway, this is Gene Polly Spear, and I hope this has been helpful.